Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky has announced the departure of the Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov, calling for new approaches a year and a half into Russia's invasion. The announcement came hours after Ukraine fought off an attack by Russian drones in the southern Odessa region early yesterday that hit a Danube port on the border with NATO member Romania. In his nightly televised address to the nation yesterday, Zelensky said that the minister will be relieved of his duties this week. His removal comes in the wake of a number of corruption scandals involving Ukraine's Ministry of Defense. In fact, Zelensky's promise to rid the government of corruption was one of the reasons behind his rapid ascent into power in 2019. Now, Zelensky has nominated Rustam Omerov, the former People's Deputy of Ukraine, to become the new defense minister. Rustam Omerov is a 41-year-old politician, businessman and activist who belongs to the Crimean Tatar community. He was born in Soviet Uzbekistan where his family was exiled by Stalin and moved back to Crimea in Ukraine as a child when the Tatars were allowed to return in the 1980s and 1990s. He started his career in the telecoms industry in 2004 and became a member of parliament in 2019. He has served as the head of the State Property Fund of Ukraine since September 2022. He is one of the co-chairs of the Crimea Platform, an international diplomatic initiative launched by Zelensky in August 2021 to restore Ukraine's sovereignty over Crimea, which was annexed by Russia in 2014. Omerov has been representing the interests and rights of the Tatar people who have been facing the repression since Russia's Crimean annexation. Both after the annexation and after the start of Russia's full-scale invasion, Omerov has taken part in behind-the-scenes talks with Russian officials, including negotiating high-profile prisoner exchanges and evacuations of civilians. He was also a part of Ukraine's delegation in negotiations with Russia in the first weeks of the war and had participated in talks on establishing an export corridor for Ukrainian grain through the Black Sea. Now, the question that remains are, Will the new chief be able to end war and bring peace, stability to the region? Will he be able to stem the tide of corruption in the Ministry of Defense? Only the time will tell. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.